By default, Word doesn't start with a blank document. Wouldn't it be awesome if it did? In this quick tip, I show you how to force Word to do just that. Have you noticed that when you start Word, you are presented with a plethora of choices from which you can choose? Okay, plethora. That's my word. That's right, a plethora of choices. And I just would like to know if you know what a plethora is. Let's take a look at what happens when you first start Word. I'm going to get out of the program right here, and then I'm going to choose to start the program again. You can see that what is displayed is called the startup screen. And it has a ton of choices, or a plethora of choices, from which you can choose when you start Word. Yeah, that's what it means. Personally, I don't like to see so many choices because there is just one of these that I choose about 99% of the time, the blank document option right up here. Wouldn't it be great then if I could make Word skip this plethora of unnecessary choices and just display a blank document? Well, you can do that with just a simple configuration change. We're going to go over here to the File tab of the ribbon, and then down at the very bottom, we'll choose Options. That displays the Word Options dialog box. Now, by default, at the left side of the dialog box, General should be selected. If it's not selected in yours, you want to choose General. And then we're going to scroll down to the very bottom of the dialog box. The option that we want to look at here is this one right here. It says show the start screen when this application starts. If I clear that and then click on OK, then the next time that I start Word, that plethora of choices will not be there. It'll come directly to a blank document like you see on the screen right now. I hope you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, make sure you click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way YouTube will let you know whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few moments with me today.